Hello there, I'd like to show you how to use live loops on GarageBand mobile. So what I did is I opened up the GarageBand app and I hear, um, I can see all my different songs and I'm going to press the plus sign to add a new one. Now up at the top, there's either the option of live loops or tracks and tracks are where you can find all the different instruments that you can use within here. I'm actually going to use the live loops. And there are many of them. There's a sound library where you can download even more, but you can see lots of different genres here. And all I really need to do is choose one. So I will pick EDM. Once I'm in here, you're going to see a grid and you can scroll up or down to see more instruments. There's a lot of different loops and just clicking on one, lets me hear it and you can see that it cycles through before it loops again. If I tap it again, it will stop. Now um, I can tap, I can kind of pick and choose, um, but going across in rows are different sounds. I can only pick one of each of these sounds and I'll show you what I mean here. I have three going, but notice they're in all different rows. And I can try and see what mix I like. Um, another way to do it on the bottom, you'll see there is an arrow and these are pre kind of preset for you. I can press that entire arrow and it will play everything in that column together and they're already mixed. So they sound good together. See, there's not a whole lot of creativity in this just yet because we are taking things that have already been been made for us and we're just playing with them. So the real art here comes with um, when you start to mix and match these and think of big picture things such as form. So I am going to create an A section. I'm going to record an A section. And to do that, all I need to do is figure out which of these parts I'd like to do, which loops. I'll get them queued up and started, and then I'm going to press the record button and record for about eight measures. So let's say I'll do this first part here. I'm going to press the record button and it will start fresh. And you can see up at the top, Counting my beat for measures. Now it continues as long as you'd like it to. I'm going to stop it here. I actually only want it to go eight measures, but I can trim it. Up on the very top right, there's a tiny little plus sign there, and if I tap on that, it shows me that my A section is currently. 11 bars set automatically. Well, I'm going to tap on that and take the automatic off. Instead, I'm going to tell it just shave it off at eight measures. And you'll see it is now adjusted. So if I press play, I can hear what I recorded for eight measures. And after the eight measures, we'll go back to the beginning and repeat. So this is my A section. Now I like to create a B section, so what I'm going to do is actually go back to that plus sign. This is our arranger. And I would like to add. So on the bottom I see the add option. And I'm going to add a B section, and I'm going to have this be the same length, eight bars. Now if you look at the top, you'll see this section of music, it's not even showing my A anymore. Instead it's starting at measure nine. So I can pick some new sounds here. And when I am ready, then I can press my record button. Go with that. Okay, now it'll record my beat.
WordPress stop, you saw it started over again. Um, so it stops recording after eight bars. Now I have an A section and a B section, and I'd like to hear what they sound like together. So I'll go back to that plus sign, and this time it shows me A, it shows me B, but I'm going to go to all sections, and it will show me all 16 measures that I have composed so far. I'll put my playhead at the start and press play. And at the end of 16 measures, it goes back. So I can press the plus sign, and I'd actually like to make this intentional in a complete song. So rather than re-record and try to remember what the A section was, I can just hit duplicate. And uh, here's where I dislike GarageBand. It names it section C. And those of us who know music know that it's actually A repeated. Um, it just lists A, B, C in alphabetical order. Um, I would rename this section A Repeated. <laughs> um, so there's that. But right now, I know my music is going to be, um, the form is A, B, A. And then I'd like to add one more at the end, and it's labeled section D, which I do not love. Um, but I know my overall form for my song is A, B, A, C. I'm going to add a C section, some new material. So this is where I'll have to find my new sounds that I like. So I'll press record. Okay, so then I can go back and I can look at my entire song, the entire section. Um, one other thing you might like to see is that um, there's like the track view, which looks like a bunch of like a brick wall up in the top right next to the microphone. If I tap on that, I get to see a different view of this that looks a little bit more like the desktop view where I can clearly see my A section. I can clearly see B. I see A repeated. And then I see that C is a little different. This is nice if you want to make some changes at the end here. Maybe I'd like to delete this. I tap once, tap twice, it gives me options. Um, oops, I, un I undid it all. Um, so let me go back and I only want to highlight this one and delete this one. There we go. So you can kind of make some changes afterwards if you would like using that track view. And to go back, to the live loops again, I'll just hit that grid and it takes me back to where I was.